Italian, ladies and gentlemen. So, you know how a couple videos ago I talked about how I lost so much footage. Uh, it was the whole plan I laid out for this uh, game, and it just kind of went up in a touch of fire. But, you know, um, trying to make lemons out of lemonade here. Uh, this is the v one video that I want to take because it was actually pretty fun to do. Essentially, in Ghosts of Tsushima, um, there is this base. Now, trying to be spoiler free here this is a base ran by absolute filth uh they're slavers um and there's a whole part again in the story not trying to spoil it too much but essentially this is a base uh that is pretty it's kind of like your beginner base but even still um it had implications when i was just starting out to do uh, to want to take it down of course anyways side thing um we are a little baby ghost at this point we have no teeth we have no ability to kick bitches in the chest and send them for lying and into a kill state um we also don't have too many eggs Execute ability, so this is also why I was quite proud of this, uh, us taking down this base and honestly nuking it, um, because we had nothing and made something out of nothing, which is exactly what we're trying to do with these videos. Oh, I missed it. Why could I just not have recorded? I'll use audio? it to sneak in. Stay out of sight until I've opened all the gates. All right, so step one is go ahead and go through the conveniently placed gap in the fence, which is a, just a glaring error, and I feel like everyone would be able to see it, considering, you know, it looks like something just shredded the fence because it's uh, whatever the bark is gone, I guess. Anyways, regardless, uh, we could stand off, which we're not. We're a filthy, disgusting uh, spy ninja thing, which means we're just going to say hi, stab. Hi, stab. Get blood, faith, me, boom, done, dead, gone. Also, get hide, boom, now what? D d dead, again. Oh no, my friends are dead. Oh, oh my god, blow horn equals up. Uh, arrow to the face. Get away from me. God damn it. Now, by god, we do not have the same chain kill abilities and overall stealth stuff. But what we do have is the ability to climb on things and just stab a whole samurai sword. The whole fucking blade. I don't care how sharp it is. That's nonsense. Unless you're perfectly getting it and not hitting bone, which guess what? There's a lot of bones in your body, dog. Oh my god, so you're flying through the air. That would have had inertia and you just fucking whiff. Anyways. Hey, guess what, Tubbs hiding behind that thick-ass armor? Boom, bang. Having seen the footage, I don't know if we got our, our critical strike. Also, he was lost. <laughs> I mean, with that being said, though, it makes sense. This dude just jumped, like, 12 feet, and that should have probably been able to kill you. Oh, I did have the one ability. The ability to, like, do a typhoon slash. Neato. It's like a wind strike. And honestly, it's, it's okay. It's kind of fine. Should do more damage, honestly, for costing, you know, your points to heal on command. Which, again, Wolverine, we're a freak. But, you know, is what it is. Onward and upward. More stabbing montage. Ah! Implementing tactic Uno 1 again. Uh, when in doubt, climb a house. Also, this is just me, but if I seen... I feel like... You'd be able to see movement out of the corner of your eye. Like, whoever, for whatever reason, when you're on a house or elevated uh, position, people don't see you. Also, the mobility that we get from that, that what is it called? That Japanese garb thing. It's like a bath towel. Ah, what is it called? Kimono. A kimono is ridiculous. <laughs> All right. Also, physics be damned! <laughs> I'm the smallest Asian man you've ever seen, but boy howdy do I have lift. And guess what? More stabby. Boom. Also, it really makes a point to look so deeply in his face whilst his blood is spurting out of his own throat onto his face. Uh, never doesn't do that. Again, our guy is sick. Like, undoubtedly sick. Uh, yeah. Also, the amount of noise that that man just had while spurting blood out of his whole throat. And this guy is just like, you know what? These fucking bags of rice. I <laughs> got all my attention. <laughs> You know, I don't like that guy anyway. Fuck him. Oh wait, I died too. It just makes zero sense anyway. You crack it. Okay. Oh jeez. <laughs> oh jeez. Also, I don't know what it is about. Was it Tsushima or Japan, wherever the hell we are in this godforsaken world? Uh, yeah, it's always storming, which honestly kind of vibe with. But it is like noisy as shit, and you, I, mean, I guess that makes sense. Maybe that person screaming. They're like, oh, the the muffles of a screaming friend. Ah, uh, they're just lightning, ah, <laughs> uh, or thunder, whatever it is. Thunder, the one. Oh man, I miss this. I'm currently balls deep in uh, Ghost of Tsushima, and uh, what do you call it? The, uh, the stealth has not been this kind to me as of late. I'm in Act Two, and they just kind of always circle around and look at you, and you have to use a lot of these wind chime things, and that just feels like wasteful. But you know, these are the good old days where enemies are just like, you know what? I'm gonna look that way, not to my left ever, ever. And I'm like, you know what? Thanks, dude. You're fuck. You're, you're the guy. Also, arrows. Dead. 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 Holy shit, I just see my friend get his blood all over me, his dynamite, let me blow his horn, not like shit my pants. 
because they're just, I'm, someone's shooting arrows at us. I can't see them. Anywho, eventually we get around to what we're actually supposed to do and not, you know, satiating the unstoppable bloodlust. Uh, but essentially we gotta unlock the gate as well as save some people who are trapped in cages and shit. Now, uh, this brings us to the one kind of F up that I had when doing this. So in this room lies a th four, four, thrice maybe, maybe thrice enemies. Um, in which it is a nightmare to try to kill them all unless you have the chain execute, which you guess what? Your boy didn't. Um, yeah, regardless, so we just kind of flailed until, you know, they died, so. Less, not a good, no, not good, but we did it. And no, no alarms are triggered, so positive, even though multiple people have blown horns. Everyone should know that there's some shit happening, but instead they're more concerned with corners and rice, so I don't know what's happening <laughs> with the people here, but, you know, maybe they deserve to die, I don't know. Anywho, we continue to save the people who are severely balding as well as probably have some sort of you know disease because they've been in the cage with rain constantly on some surprise they're alive uh, most human beings are dying like a half a second in their freezing cold wet uh, cold so you know regardless open some gates that's chill then we got on to fighting these thick ass boys all right so we have thick ass boy number one all right so i was like okay here's what we're gonna do this is some shit that you do in all assassins creed games or not assassin creed games sorry just uh, stealth games you crank an arrow into someone's head then you quick run to the next guy except they just are like nah bitch we have seen our friend get hit in the head with an arrow why would it be surprised at you coming at me in the back <laughs> you know and i'm like okay well well, shit. And anyways, we get wrecked. Mostly because when I, when I fail my stealth the first time, my soul breaks. Like, my will no longer is, is kept. So I'm just in the back of my head while well, this is all going on. I'm like, I should just die. I should die, restart, and do it stealthy, you know? I'm not sure if you guys like that, but I, I, can't, I can't help it. Regardless, a tub of dive. Easy peasy, one step closer to getting Moon, uh, which is actually pretty legit. Uh, moon is, is like a berserker-like stance that you guys will see eventually in, in the near future. But... It's neither high here nor there. Now, how, oh how, do we actually defeat the last or second to last target? We implement the one thing that we've been doing this whole time. We get elevation and we dive bomb them bitch asses. All right, it's been working real well and I would highly advise it. Especially if you have chain execute or something, it's solid. Ah yes, and right here you guys are finally seeing what fear is uh, when it comes to these people. Now, I don't think there's anything to gain from smacking up a person who's afraid. Uh, sometimes they fight, sometimes when they see you like not letting them run away, they're like, okay, we better just fight or flight, right? And we choose flight. Uh, or fight. Well, we chose flight first, and then now we're gonna have to fight because you're just gonna run after us and kill us. Which honestly, you probably should in general. Uh, yeah, regardless. Regardless, bitches died. <laughs> All right, now we're off to go fight the big boss. But the question is, will we be able to fight him on the first try or beat him? As a great man once said, first try. Now. As we can see him, he looks kind of similar to all the other characters, but he's decked out in even more gold and genuinely just looks bigger. Now, it is my theory that the Mongol armor is actually light as copper. Uh, so the man in that suit exactly is a little twig person. And it just makes me feel better about everything. Because, yeah, just thinking about a tiny thin man in this giant armor is just makes me happy. Um, that may just be me. I'm willing to accept that as you guys can see we're gonna kind of fucked up But our ungodly ability to heal like Wolverine is fantastic and amazing And I imagine they probably nerfed the shit out of it on hard mode because it is kind of like a I'm bad But like I could still do this <laughs> do this, you know, <laughs> I'm like all right. That's awesome Regardless, um, I I'm doing somehow okay here I've really implemented it in the next couple videos you guys might see they just kicking people in the chest until they're like until they just break entirely um, it works really well for boss fights. Again, I would highly advise, don't even fuck with any other stance. Just fuck with the spear stance, wind stance, um, and just kick bitches in the chest. It is the most gratifying shit. It is so, so good. But the question is, will we still win, or will he get, like, a cheap shot on me or something? Know your fucking place, trash. Anywho, ladies and gentlemen, so I thought we'd end it on Agony, which is this, uh... This game mode is hell for me, and I come from a generation that played button mashers, uh, like, uh, the weird quick time events, uh, and Jack and Daxter and shit, uh, did not prepare me for this level of hell. Maybe if you played Rock Band on controller like a filthy savage, then maybe you'd be ready for this, but I, for one, hate it dearly. Uh, anyways, ladies and gentlemen, uh, if you like this, uh, let me know, uh, comments down below, as well as if you shared this, you're a fucking MVP, and... 
and there's a subscribe button on your screen as well as two videos. Check those out if you so desire. Thank you for your time, and of course, goodbye.